Introducing Mortex's PTA system for the renovation of existing concrete using Keystone Cool Deck or Marquee. All concrete decks should look this beautiful. The reality is, time and deterioration leave us with this. To renovate this deck with Keystone Cool Deck or Marquee, we'll use the PTA system, following the four C's of concrete renovation, clean, coat, cover, and cure. Starting with the first C, clean. Clean means a concrete surface which is free of barriers, such as mineral deposits, sealers, oils, paints, and polymer coatings. Clean also means a surface that is structurally sound. Unsound concrete in this deck is the result of cracks, shifting concrete, flaking cool deck, chemical etching, deteriorating patches, and expansive aggregate or freeze thaw. These problems must be repaired and or removed before continuing. Major repairs such as the brick inlays and the sections of this cool deck that were replaced were done in advance of the Keystone Cool Deck application day so that excess concrete and mortar smeared on the existing surface can be removed by scarifying. Minor repairs such as small cracks, chips and holes can be fixed at the time the topping is being applied. To expose sound concrete, use a scarifier. It can easily remove loose and deteriorating concrete and it can very often find and remove hidden damage. The cutter on the right is better at removing thin coatings like Cool Deck and polymer coatings such as Sun Deck. Cool deck can very often be removed more efficiently by pulling the scarifier towards yourself rather than pushing it forward. Small remnants of cool deck that withstand the severity of this hammering are usually well attached and can remain on the surface. Cool deck can be removed from the cantilever edge with the use of an angle head grinder. Be careful. The corundum cup will easily scar the tile if touched. Cool deck that has been applied with a polymer adhesive must be completely removed, including the polymer adhesive. For all polymer coatings like Sun Deck, the layer of concrete that contains polymer must also be removed. As part of the cleaning process, all decks, including decks just poured the day before, must be acid washed. Always acid wash immediately prior to the topping application so the surface does not get contaminated. Use one part muriatic acid to one part water for older decks and one part acid to four parts water for new decks. Never put acid on dry concrete. Always wet the surface first. Scrub acid onto the surface with a brush. The acid should boil vigorously. If it does not, the surface has something on it that must be removed by either more acid washing or scarifying, followed by acid washing. Be sure to scrub all surfaces, including the cantilever edge. Because acid destroys cement, the reaction leaves behind a residue that must be removed. Scrubbing with a wire brush while rinsing with water will remove this residue. A better way is to use a high pressure washer with a minimum pressure of 1500 PSI, although 2500 to 3000 PSI would be preferable. A 3000 PSI washer will not only remove the residue, but it can find and remove soft deteriorated concrete that might have escaped detection by other means. It also allows one to effectively clean cracks, holes, and along joints. When evaluating the amount of cleaning and deck preparation necessary, one final question has to be asked. Has enough cleaning been done? The only answer is, the more you do, the better the job. The second C is for coating with PTA. Before the actual coating can begin, the deck must be soaked with water for a minimum of one hour. The more evenly saturated with water the concrete is, the smoother this process will proceed. Someone should start mixing the PTA at the same time the Keystone Cool Deck mixing is started. The 20 pound box of PTA, properly mixed, will coat approximately 350 square feet. Because it is cement tissues, once mixed with water, it must be used within 45 minutes. The mixing instructions are 1.3 gallons of water per box of PTA. Put one half gallon of water in a five gallon bucket and add PTA. Stir two minutes till smooth. Allow mixture to rest for three minutes. Then add remaining water and stir. A thin milky consistency is desired. PTA is a primer type of an adhesive. Do not mix it into the Keystone Cool Deck or Marquee toppings. Remove all standing water from the area to be coated before applying PTA. Stir the PTA just before pouring it from the bucket, as some ingredients settle quickly. 
Brush PTA on the deck edge first. Then pour some PTA onto the surface and scour it around with a stiff bristle brush. When you have thoroughly coated an area, brush all excess PTA to the next area to be coated. Be sure to brush the excess from along joints, crevices, and holes. A thin coat, through which you can see faint shadows of the base concrete, is correct. A thick coat actually makes a weaker bond. After applying PTA, but before covering with the Keystone Cool Deck or Marquee, use some of the topping material in a stiff paste form to pack the small cracks, chips, and holes. A rubber float works well for this. The third C stands for covering. We can now start covering the PTA with either Keystone Cool Deck or Marquee. Using a dash brush, splash the Cool Deck onto the PTA coated surface as shown. An Adtech sprayer could just as easily be used to apply the topping. A major benefit of PTA for splashing is that a better texture can be generated than with polymer bonding agents. Allowing the PTA to lose its water glaze before splashing stops the sliding and self-leveling action caused by polymer bonding agents. Caution, the statement, lose its water glaze, does not mean let the PTA dry. Do not cover any PTA that is dry to a slightly whitish color because bond failure will occur. If the PTA does dry slightly, recoat that dry area by scrubbing with new PTA and be sure to brush away the excess. Take care that topping oversplash does not get on the base concrete that has not been coated with PTA. Make the pattern setting trial pass as soon as possible. The finish pass will follow quickly. PTA offers several advantages to the finisher. PTA slows the setting rate when compared to polymers, and it tends to minimize the uneven setting that is common to existing concrete work. Unlike polymers that float and cause a sticky surface that is hard to trowel, especially on the finish pass, PTA does not interfere with troweling. Be sure to trowel all the surface evenly. Areas that only receive a pattern setting trowel pass and not a finish pass will be light in color. And conversely, areas that are troweled excessively will be dark in color. Because of the PTA's primer type nature, its light color will mask the uneven color of the base. And with consistent troweling, beautiful, even colors will result. If at any time, more than a momentary stop is required, stop the process at a joint. Be sure to keep the remaining concrete damp at all times. The last C is for curing. Because PTA, Keystone Cool Deck, and Marquee are cementitious materials, they must be cured. On existing concrete applications using Marquee, do not use more cure. To properly cure both Keystone Cool Deck and Marquee, you must cover the deck with a clear plastic sheeting of 1 to 2 mils in thickness. The surface should be covered immediately after the final troweling pass. It is better to cover the deck with plastic and uncover only those areas that need cleaning to minimize moisture loss. In this case, the brick inlays had to be cleaned of any PTA that was under the masking. Do not wait until troweling is completed to cover the deck with plastic. It is a continuous process of coating an area with PTA, splashing it with cool deck or marquee, troweling it, and putting plastic on it for curing. In warm weather applications, it is of extreme importance to take the necessary precautions to get the proper cure. For proper curing, keep the plastic tight to the surface. To minimize air circulation under the plastic, broadcast sand across the surface is shown. Sand also makes a very good edge seal. The deck must be covered with plastic for two days and two days only. Leaving the deck covered longer than two days will result in whitish mineral growths on the surface. After removing the plastic, wash the surface while scrubbing with a brush. This washing will remove any trash particles and minerals that have begun to accumulate, as well as any debris that has been freshly tracked onto the surface while removing the plastic. Frequent washing of the surface in the first six weeks will definitely help its long-term durability. As soon as this deck had dried, a urethane caulk was placed in the slot left by Mortex's foam fiber joint. By using the PTA system and some ingenuity in planning, we have transformed an entertainment area which was plagued by severe structural cracking, poorly planned additions, and deteriorating cool deck into a beautiful pool and spa area that rivals any newly constructed pool. Successful renovations like this depend on the completion of the PTA system's four C's clean, coat, 
cover and cure. This system is More Tex's recommended method for applying Keystone Cool Deck or Marquee to existing concrete. When you're considering concrete remodeling or renovation, let Mortex give you concrete answers for 